so uh, this video is for you know to show the people how I've made the uh, bracket for my rear tire hanger. So I was doing the chain setting DIY. So I removed the tire hanger now. So that is where I'm able to make this video for showing you the mount. So basically we used a L bracket. If you see this is an L shape. Okay. So this L bracket was used. We made two holes around here on the L bracket. Okay, you can see uh, these are the mount. These are the original mounts for the uh, for the tire hugger. And uh, this is the bracket that comes with the tire hugger. And this is the one that has been made by me. So I had to match the holes, these holes from the original tire hugger bracket to my bracket that I have made, the L shaped bracket. And uh, to hold this L bracket on the on the rear axle over here, okay, we added a parallel parallel thick plate, okay, and welded that out here. Okay, that's been welded out here, and from this side, if you can see, from inside over here, and then made a hole matching the matching the axle. I have then used a bigger washer that I purchased from the market okay and I have used a custom bolt again this belongs to one of the uh, other pulsers so uh, since since I uh, since I was using up some space over here I needed to get a bolt with uh, I needed to get a nut sorry a nut with lesser width for the tire hugger so uh, so this uh, this now goes in up here okay this now goes in up here like this uh, the washer would come in and the bolt and you tighten it out so this is a 22 number bolt okay so once you tighten it out this is how the tire hugger setup would look on the bike Okay, I've got other videos with tire hugger walk around. So if you have any questions related to this video, you can put it here. Or if you have any looks related to the, if you have any questions related to the looks, you can put it in my other video. I'll leave a link to the other video in this description also. Thank you. Hope this helps.